There was a time Nokia was the Samsung and iPhone of today. I'm sure a lot of you used Nokia first. Your first phones were Nokia and for me too, it was the same. Nokia never became the, the, the phone people, other companies look up to. Nokia is now kind of um, more quiet. I wouldn't say they're not making good phones, but it's not really as it used to be because we know Nokia as the OG of phones. But all of a sudden, Nokia announced a smartphone that will not just set trends for other companies, but like other companies are... This is something other companies have not done yet. Samsung proposed it and Vivo also proposed it, but they've not done it yet. And from the look of things, I think Nokia will be the first company to do it. So the Nokia PureView 9.3 is set to launch at the end of the second quarter of this year and it is set to launch with an under display selfie camera. There was news that Samsung was planning on releasing an under display selfie camera but from what we've seen so far it's not ready yet. I think either Vivo or Nokia will be the first to release the under display selfie camera. So yes I think we'll be seeing the an under display selfie camera on Nokia PureView 9.3 at the end of the second quarter of this year, hopefully by um, the end of June or the beginning of July. And this device is set to launch with the best display ever made with 120Hz refresh rate next to the likes of Samsung Galaxy X20, Ultra and OnePlus 8 Pro. Called the Pure Display V3, a QHD Plus P-OLED display. The screen size is set to be 6.29 with 2K HD resolution and with Gorilla Glass 6 for protection. This is a full display with minimal bezels, has aluminum frame and a glass body. For performance, it will launch with the Android 10, 6GB RAM, 8GB RAM. You have an option of 6GB RAM and 128GB of storage and 8GB RAM, 256GB of storage. And it comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, which we all know is a 5G chip. And this is the latest from Qualcomm. And if you are into that kind of thing, you can check the score. This is the same chipset found in the Samsung Galaxy S20 series, the Xiaomi Mi 10 and the Mi 10 Pro and the likes. So of course, you should expect an optimal performance, but of course, you'll put that to the test when it is made available. The killer feature of the Nokia PureView 9.3 is the underscreen selfie camera, which other companies proposed, but they don't have theirs ready yet. Companies like Samsung and Vivo proposed this, but it's still in the testing phase, and I'm not sure they will even include it in the upcoming Note 20, but who knows. But somehow, Nokia found a way to fit a 30 megapixel camera lens into the front of the device that's under the display. Here's what is amazing about the 30 megapixel camera being in front. If they successfully do this, this is going to let in so much light in the front of the camera, that's in the front camera, letting you take pictures as clear as the back camera. You know, for most of us, we take pictures with our back cameras and take pictures with our selfie camera, or even if they have the same sensors, they're not the same. So if you fit a 30 megapixel camera lens, into the front of the phone, that means you let in so much light and you get the same quality as you get with the back camera, which is going to be amazing. The back camera is a Penta camera setup. Main lens is expected to be a 64 megapixel lens with crazy ultra wide angle with 108 MP camera sensor. There is no way to tell if they will be using the Samsung lens. So, but what this camera will give you is, I think, far more better than what we've been seeing in 2020, which means great details and more quality, which is good. Also, a, a 42 megapixel telephoto lens, a macro lens with a depth sensor lens. The Nokia PureView 9.3 is set to launch with good color options. All I need to know about the Nokia PureView 9.3 is coming with a Type-C USB, an on-screen fingerprint sensor, an haptic vibrator, a wireless charging, and a battery of 4,000 mAh. So, if you're looking to pick one of these up, the starting price for the 6GB RAM is um, $799, which is um, around 312K, is it? So, it's expected to be around 300 and let's say 40 something thousand. And in CDs, it's expected to be 4,006 to 5,000 CDs. I'll be giving you more details on this device when the device is made available. Is there anything you feel I missed out or do you know something I, that I do not know? Hit me up in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.